Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. And so it's been a little over two months since my last video, so it's about time for an update on my garden and the ups and downs of it. So let's get going. here I just wanted to show you here this is my um, red noodle bean plant and as you can see right there in the center are aphids and you see all the ants crawling and they drink um, the nectar that they that the aphids produce and I've been coming out every day with a spray bottle and shooting them off you see there's more here it'll focus and, um, and if you can see if you can kind of see in the background um, you see all around here you see all, all the ants that's all, all the activity that's where all the aphids are and I'm going to be and I just use the spray bottle here like this I have it on and I just shoot it shoot them off And that's how I get rid of them. I just I just gotta be vigilant, and so that way um, I avoid having to use pesticides. And then here's my red, red noodle beans, and I've been having some issues with these. Um, as you can see, this one um, yellowing leaves right here. That's because there's two different plants winding around this pole. 
And so this one plant is dying off. I'm not sure why. And um, as I showed you in a previous video, I've been I'm having some aphid issues on these. And as you can see, if I can focus right, if I can focus right there, you'll see aphids on the flower. And um, but it, it's definitely not the aphids that are killing it off because this is the first time I've seen aphids on uh, these plants. And um, but a lot of them have died off. And this is this is probably like the third time I have putting I've you know sowed some more seeds to get more seedlings. And so like this one is um, planted maybe about a little bit over a month ago, and it's starting to put out its vine. And so I just, every time they die off, I put some more seeds and I plant some more to kind of continue with the uh, product, you know, get them some more beans out of them. Um, otherwise, I mean, um, I'll be waiting quite some time for a whole new batch. And so, um, so I've got some noodles here, noodle beans there. Um, and then this is another plant, the same, another, another pot, the same issue where they have been dying off. And so this is probably like the third or no this I think this is the second plant that I put in here and it's doing pretty well um, and I've got two you see if I can see there's one right there and there's a second one right there and I've got another seedling um, just in case um, because I've seen, I'm seeing some issues here and definitely this one is the one that I have aphids and I've just been um, coming out every day and shooting them off when I see them and um, to kind of control the population here and try to get rid of them. And uh, so, and as you can see, noodles, noodle beans here, definitely, I think these definitely need to be harvested because um, when they start bulging like that, they, that when they, that's when they start to get a little bit tough. So probably this size would be good to pick. Um, but these, um, these haven't been, these aren't very long. So um, I probably too need to fertilize and keep it, you know, keep the aphids at bay um, and um, oh here's like here's here's one I'm going to show you too that they, I think I should have picked this way sooner I mean it's kind of long this one is pretty long but it's kind of bulging with the beans inside so um, this this still is this isn't super super tough um, but definitely not as tender as if I picked it sooner and um, this one too um, this one's pretty long. Definitely, we'll have to pick these off. Um, definitely need to be harvested. And so, when I don't have enough beans to make a meal with them, I pick the, you know, one-offs. And I've only, I've, I think I've, I have three right now. And I put them in the freezer. And then until I have a nice batch, I'll take them out of the freezer and um, chop them up and stir fry them. And so. It's better that way because otherwise if I just keep them in the fridge, they start to kind of really get, um, what's the word, like just not like a, they're not very um, crisp, they're very wilted and very limp and just, you know, not very good. So I just decided to start freezing them instead because otherwise they just end up going to waste while they sit in the fridge waiting for some more. To make a meal out of and so but definitely this is the one that i've definitely been getting um the one crop here out of my small little garden that i've actually been um enjoying some homegrown fresh vegetables and um i have oh also i have cucumbers Here is an, a young cucumber plant. I had two of them already growing and I'm gonna show you, I put it here so that it would climb up this and you see right there, this is what was the previous cucumber. It gone all the way up here, climbed all the way up here. And then it just like wilted in one day. I come out and the whole thing is just wilted. This one and the other one I had in a different pot. They both just wilted and completely died. 
Um, come to find out, I think it's some bacterial, bacterial or bacterium wilt or something like that. I can't remember what, what it's called exactly, but it's due to a uh, cucumber beetle that spreads this bacterial disease that causes it to just wilt and die. Not for lack of water because I've been watering them and not not overing not over watering them or under watering them so i know it's definitely not a water issue because it's just like a literal overnight issue the very next like one night the one day i come out and see you know even by the end of the day it's green lush and everything the very next day come out complete all of it completely wilted so <coughs> so hopefully um i'm gonna be keeping track on this one and i need to actually sow some more seeds and hopefully, um, and pray that cucumbers, cucumber beetle does not get to this. I'm not sure how to prevent it. I don't think there's a way, but I, I just need to do some more research. But I just need to plant some more so that if they do get it, I still have some other plants. And here I have a pepper. I have one more seedling. I still haven't gotten around to putting it in a pot. I have it in a small cup. But um, this one is hasn't produced anything yet. No buds, nothing, and um, it's been pretty slow. And um, so this is a regular bell pepper, uh, sweet pepper. So I definitely need to get the other one going. Uh, put it in the pot so it can grow. And here I have sweet potato. Um, this one. Um, I wasn't going to do sweet potato again because it would take, I just really didn't have enough pots to kind of dedicate to, to it. But I just, um, but I, I saw this in the grocery store. It's a purple, really dark purple uh, sweet potato. So I, it was the first time I've seen it in the store. So I wanted to take advantage of it and uh, decided to go ahead and plant it. And so as you can see, I think I planted this, ooh, maybe what? Mm, two weeks ago, I think. I cut off a slice of it and I just put it here in the soil. That's it. I just put it cut side down, put it in here, and here I have slips growing. This one looks like it is ready to be cut off and rooted, and I'll just um, put it and then just and then so that these others can grow bigger and larger, and I can have. Um, quite a bunch of slips that I can use to grow sweet potatoes. I just need to find pots for it um, if I'm going to have all these slips. And um, if anything, too, I can just grow, put them in a small pot, and just grow them just for the greens and um, cook these up. I never had them before yet, um, before, but I'm going to give them a try. Um, I can't remember what, what they taste like, but I think you can cook them up like you do spinach. But um, yeah, so I'm, that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put in a smaller pot. At least one of the, you know one or one or two of these slips will be used for actually growing the sweet potatoes, and I'll probably put it in this pot. Oh, and this is the other pot that had the um, the other small ground cherry one um, that died. So this is the pot that uh, was growing that one, and so I think I'll just use this now for a sweet potato, and then um, have some growing just for the greens. Uh, to eat the greens only and not necessarily to make some sweet potatoes and um, I still have the basil in here. It's looking kind of pitiful um, it's Supposed to be dark opal uh, pur Purple dark purple opal basil, but as you can see it's very green um, Still don't quite understand why um, It is not purple um, I've read several different articles saying it's lack of sunlight and I don't know if there was another thing, but this thing gets plenty of sun, so I don't know. And I just wanted to show you real quick. Zinnia, which I don't know why it's so droopy. But this is a really pretty zinnia. And got another bud growing right there. And hope you got hope you're all doing well. And see you next time. Bye-bye.